news, today's news. Yes, news on the hour, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. Holiday travelers are shifting their plans to beat a massive winter storm before Christmas. Just waiting in line to get on an airplane. A long line. A long line. Get here plenty early if you're leaving. <laughs> I didn't realize Nashville wasn't here this bad. Airlines have already scrapped more than 2,000 flights today alone. I'm Jim Crisula, Long I-85 in Gibsonville, North Carolina. It's a race against time for millions of Americans hitting the road for Christmas. They hope to beat what's predicted to become a major snow and ice storm across much of the nation. We're glad we're getting out today. Because of the storm, I decided to leave a day early. I'm trying to get out of here before then. Boy, I changed to leave a day early. People are also making preps at home. CBS's Janet Shamley is in Houston, Texas. The warnings are out for people, for plants, for pipes, and pets. And if you drive around the neighborhoods near where we are, which is close to downtown, you see everything covered. A lot of people have foliage that grows all year round because of the climate here. And you see the white tarps over everything. This system's expected to impact at least 32 states. The Senate has passed a $1.7 trillion bill to fund the government through next fall. It also includes more aid for Ukraine and disaster relief to communities hit by strong storms. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. A lot of ups and downs, but the end, a great result that really helped the American people. The bill heads to the House next. We are reading through more January 6th transcripts from members of Trump's inner circle ahead of the release of a final report. CBS's Scott McFarlane. They invoked the Fifth Amendment, not just on weight-bearing questions about January 6th, but baseline stuff like, what's your age? Where were you on Election Day 2020? Where did you go to college? It was an invocation of the Fifth Amendment to nearly everything. A former crypto king accused of one of the biggest fraud cases in history can head out west while he waits for trial. A federal judge says Sam Bankman-Fried can live under house arrest with his parents in California after posting a $250 million bond. Prosecutors say he swindled investors and looted customer deposits from the FTX trading platform, calling it fraud of epic proportions. The arraignment comes a day after two of Bankman Freed's closest associates pled guilty to charges that included wire securities and commodities fraud. Bankman Freed says he hasn't done anything wrong. Peter King, CBS News. Target is recalling thousands of pillow fort weighted blankets over reports of young children getting trapped and suffocating. At least two kids have died. The retailers urging people to stop using them immediately. The Dow's down 500 points. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.